Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Hi people, here it is Monday morning and I got all the jet stuff and the toys put away. It's time to get back to work, doggone it. No more loafing for you. <laughs> I know that's what y'all was thinking out playing yesterday. I could have been working on the bomber. Oh, come on, guys. Got to give me a little bit of a break. Every now and then, get to go play, fly some jets. Sure had a good time yesterday. That's fun. We was out there all day. But uh, I got all my inside figured out on this. People and I got jigs made. I got a template made for this. I got a jig to, to how to put it in there, and uh, so I can make another one identical. And yes, I'm gonna lay these up out of carbon fiber. And uh, someone said uh, that carbon fiber is no lighter. Once you get it laid up, it's just stiffer. But here, here's the difference. Okay. This is three layers of glass. Three layers of 10 ounce. Okay, this elevator is pretty heavy. And you know, it's pretty rigid with that balsa in there, but it's still kind of floppy. That was all the balsa wood I had. Only had so many sheets and that's as far as I got. So with the carbon fiber ones, I'll bring, the, I'll bring it all the way to the end. But here's the difference, okay? When I lay these up out of carbon fiber, I can use a layer, a, a two ounce, a layer of my two ounce in my mold. One layer of carbon fiber. Okay. Another layer of my, or then I put my boss of sheeting in there. And then I put another layer of my two ounce on top of it. Okay, now that saved two layers of 11 ounce cloth. Okay, so this stab is going to be a lot lighter and it'll be really rigid and it'll be strong and that'll be good to go and my balsa spar in there okay I'm gonna put a spar in the back right there now I'm gonna make that as a 3 h balsa but I'm going to laminate both sides with carbon fiber I'm gonna put another spar right here which I'm gonna laminate with carbon fiber and uh, it'll be tough man that thing should be tough and uh, help keep to keep the weight down a little bit. You know, every little bit, all the weight I'm adding back here, I gotta add and lay it in the nose. But uh, you know, I want these to be strong, but still kind of keep the weight down. I'm gonna talk to Butch a little more about that. We might end up putting two layers of carbon fiber instead of just the one. But still, it's weight saved because you don't have to use as much. And uh, I'll get that sheeted with balsa. And what that does, people, this balsa, I had a couple guys asking about that. that. That will make this really rigid, okay? And I'm going to put me a couple spars or some ribs in the back, just balsa. That's all I need when I'm laying this up with carbon fiber. And man, it'll be really rigid, you know, and it won't squish. And uh, my leading edge will be separate, it'll be all in one piece. And it'll never develop a crack that'll let air in and explode it and and uh, it's going to be tough okay but now what I'm doing today is oh I'm tired from yesterday <laughs> man that was fun but uh, I gotta lay up my gear doors there's my mold for them and that's my main gear doors I'm going to redo them and then I got my front gear doors, which I've never made. I gotta do my front gear doors. These uh, deals, vent deals for the top, and a door for my hatch on the side for my radio equipment. But uh, these deals here are for where them fairing things go. I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna cut these off smooth, and then just put that all on there in one piece. And uh, I don't know if I'll have time to hinge it and get it working. I'm going to just put some double face tape on it. Get it down to dies. But, uh, I'm going to get that done. And then my door. 
over here. That door. And get all that done today. But I want to show you guys something, people. I want to show you guys something. All right. So I got this fitting perfectly on this side. Just perfect. Okay. If I can get this in. I got all my templates made and jigged up. Okay. Let's show let's show some hands, all right. People, stop your video right now and make a comment. Who all thinks that's going to fit on this side perfect? Two. Come on, let's stop your videos. We'll wait for you. Stop. Make your comment. Yes or no? Is this going to fit on this side just as good as it did that other side? You know, because it wouldn't take much to throw it out of whack. You know, if this pole wasn't quite so square or... You know, that would sure throw everyone out of whack. So stop that video and tell me, yay or nay. Oh, my garage door's in the way. Is it going to fit? Drum roll, please. Look at that, people. It fits just as good as on this side as it does that other one. Ain't that amazing? So someone keeps driving by my house. I've seen him twice. I wonder if it's a fan or something. He has drove by twice real slow just to stare. Hmm. Oh, but that's what I got and that's what I got to do. We'll get this done today. I'm going to Texas tomorrow. And uh, pick up them wings. Butch has got in a, Butch has got a calculation to balance them stabs with. Okay? You know, all that stuff is, uh, is, uh, got to be done right just like on a real one you know no they can't be severely heavy in the back but you still want them to hang but evidently he's talked with some engineers or somebody and they came up with a a way to get them right so I think he wants to explain that to me too Wax it on and wax it off. Well, it's a wonder I get anything done at all around here the way I wax stuff off. <laughs> Always just a waxing on and waxing off. Well, forgot to set the bobo timer, but I caught it. 30 seconds left. But uh, that's what I got going on, people. I'll, uh, I'll make some more videos today and show you what I'm doing. But uh, I kind of slow on the videos past couple days on the building. Until we got there, I was kind of puzzled on that myself, you know. And I kind of hate to make a video of me scratching my head. <laughs> Until I get it figured out, but I think we got it whooped, so we can 